What is going on, everybody? It is the Misfit Bear, and welcome back to another reaction. Yes, you saw the title. We got ourselves an hour of Nuke's Top 5, the top 20 scariest ghost videos of the year. He did this on Christmas Eve of last year, and I had just, you know, I was looking for the uh, video that I ended up doing uh, the other day. And, you know, I saw it and I'm like, an hour of nukes? Who would watch that? And now I see quite a few of y'all like me doing reaction to nukes top five. So, hey, I thought I'd bring a mega reaction. I think this is going to be the longest reaction video on the channel so far. So I hope you guys are strapped in. Make sure you got some snacks. You know, you could also be eating dinner or, or whatever at the same time. So, hey, let's see what all, or is it going to be like, is it going to be in reference to older videos? Like some from his other videos, or is it just going to be completely new stuff? I'm not entirely sure, but we're going to definitely see. I'm sure if we recognize some, it'll kind of make it clear. But hey, uh, let's get right on into it. Turn off the lights and go full screen because it's the top 20 scariest ghost videos of the year. Yes. The Highway 5 Ghost Girl. Oh boy. This next video posted to Reddit by user Lil Goth Doll was recorded from a monitor, then screen capped on a phone I before it finally made its way to the internet. So it's a bit potato quality. Mm. Nevertheless, the video is First and foremost, let's stop acting like all these videos ain't potato quality. All right, they kind of are. Killing. It was pulled from the dash cam feed of two truck drivers after a very frightening incident. So one night, two truckers are driving on Highway 5 in Lynn, Alabama, when they mm. get the scare of a lifetime. Oh, that's not too bad. For what it's worth. Whoa! 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 The panic stricken truck drivers pull over and call 911. But when they check the highway and the surrounding area along with arriving police, they don't find anything. There's just Thankfully, no they one didn't hit there. Her? After what? the truck drivers request a viewing of the footage recorded that night on Highway 5, they are shocked. Just like they thought, there is in fact a girl in a long dress walking across the road. Looked like she had a backpack on. By their truck. Oh, she did They later get find hit. out that there's a well-known ghost story associated with this road. Bro. Highway 5 in Lynn, Alabama. Bro. The story goes that 10 years ago on a rainy night, a teenage girl on her way home from her high school prom lost her life on the road after being hit by an 18-wheeler truck. That's a shame. Over the years, many truck drivers claim that they have witnessed a girl wearing a prom dress on Highway 5. So could it be that these truck drivers captured the prom dress ghost of Highway Man. 5? Their reactions certainly look convincing. But as wow, always, dude. you decide. That is crazy! Oh, we are off to a damn good start, people! We're off to a damn good start! The Haunted Hill House. Ooh! The Haunted Hill House in Mineral Wells, Texas is said to be one of the most haunted locations in the U.S. Wait, did you Within say- Within over one Mineral Wells, oh, it, Texas is said to be- Did you the Haunted say Mineral Hill Wells, Texas? The Haunted Hill House in Mineral Wells, Texas is said to be- Hold up, how, how, how close is that to me? Two hours one of the most haunted locations in the U.S. Two hours. With an over 125 year dark and troubling past. Damn. That doesn't come as much of a surprise. The home was. I know what y'all are thinking. I'm not doing this. All right. I'm not doing this. I'm not going ghost hunting. You can kiss my ass. Once a haven for illegal I'm not activity. Doing it. it served as a gambling hall, a bootlegging operation, I'm and not even doing a brothel. It. It also served as a makeshift hospital for over 50 years. Dang. It is said that the Haunted Hill House is inhabited by the ghosts of at least nine people who lost their lives there. Hell no! The Hill House can be rented out for ghost tours and investigations by interested groups and curiosity seekers. What? So no, I'm not doing it! So one night in late September, a group of friends and family rented the Hill House just to have a little fun. I'm not None doing it! None of the group it. were quote unquote paranormal investigators. In fact, many of them were doubters who just wanted to prove that the so-called Haunted Hill House wasn't actually haunted at all. Y'all finna but learn today. That's not exactly how things went down. 
yo, wait, hold the fuck up. Is that Carol Baskin? <laughs> wait a minute. Is that Carol Baskin? Actually haunted at all. <laughs> hold uh, up. Y'all cannot not exactly sit here and tell me that that does down. not look like her. The house is said to be haunted by one particularly violent spirit that the house's owners refer to I'm as Dr. Yeager. I'm sorry for pausing so much. One of the visitors, Victoria, lays down on the bed in one of the rooms and jokingly starts taunting Dr. Yeager. Oh, you finna it find out what happened. Oh well. Jaeger ain't no ain't no joke. You finna find out. As you can see, she was yanked off the bed. This was not a fall. Yo! And then they ran out. We're gonna rewind that and we're gonna show you in regular screen. Yo! Just snatched! Yeah, you believe now? Something seems to violently yank Victoria right off the bed as her friends look on in terror. Yeah. The house has a static black and white security camera in every room and it catches the action as Victoria is pulled off the bed and the group makes a run for it. Yeah. One of the guys you believe is now? so shook, he even drops his phone and just leaves it on the floor behind him. Oh, see, that now, ain't fake. Cut to almost one hour later, around 3 a.m. A guy Ooh. named Drew wants to test this alleged paranormal activity for himself. Y'all are in so witching hour. So he enters hour. the same bedroom and immediately begins taunting the ghost of, quote, Dr. Yeager. Y'all are witching hour. He says that hour. the spirit is a coward and that if he really wants to attack someone, why doesn't he try attacking a man instead? Look at the guy in the white hat right here, guys. Follow him. Before I even finish my sentence... Um, he drunk as a skunk. <laughs> All right, we're gonna he pull just, it back. Uh, Whoa, okay. what happened? Did he get snatched? He tried to choke him? Did you see he got pushed? So oh, he got pushed. Drew got his wish. Huh. He is violently shoved by something. And then he almost knocks down his two friends while making a mad dash from the room. I know it that's right. should be noted right. here that Drew has gone on record as saying that he will never set foot inside the haunted hill house ever again. Uh-huh, made a believer out of it him. it gets even weirder. Okay, After Drew is Let pushed and he and his friends run from the room, something seems to yank the door shut behind them. If you watch closely, you can actually see the doorknob move as if it's being pulled. Whoa! So is the haunted hill house one of the most haunted places Yo, on earth? That is so cool. Would you go into that room and talk Hell to spirit nah. with Dr. Yeager? Hell. Let me know down in the comments. Alright now. <laughs> the unhappiest place on earth. Popular Japanese YouTube channel Fourth Wall claims that they have been sent video footage of a family visiting Tokyo Disneyland. Mm. Since there are very strict privacy laws in Japan, the footage has been blurred to protect identities. Now, allegedly the family's daughter is too scared to ever return to the Disney park after this incident. This oh, shit. is the footage. There's a lot going on right now, man. Did you see it? Hell no, nah, I didn't. The anonymous what happened? video recorder is walking on the second floor of what appears to be the Disneyland Hotel lobby. They pan to the right, Yo, and what appears to be the pale, translucent figure of a I little girl can be seen see right that. in front of them. But they don't see it. They didn't I even did discover the figure until that. after their trip while they were looking through their footage. So is it a ghost caught on camera, or is it just an elaborate hoax? That's crazy. You decide. Like, imagine seeing that ghost. and not Paranormal investigator Ross Allison like has been heading up a ghost hunting team in the Pacific days, Northwest called A Ghost for nearly 20 years. We already had After a one of their investigations, in the a female team member believes that she was followed home by an unhappy spirit who attached itself to her. That sucks. Afterwards, she says that every time she records her voice, unexplained horrific screams and growls appear on her recordings. In this clip, really? to prove her claim, she records herself in full view of a camera in a room full of people, which would make faking the recording nearly impossible. Okay, let's see. Hi, it's me again. Obviously. No one can understand why you have to scream, and neither can I. Why do you follow me everywhere? This is going to be nuts. I'm really excited to see what this help, is like. But I can't understand you. Please 
Can you just try to not scream? Can you try to tell me your name? Or what you'd like for us to call you? And mind you, this is a voice recording that she's doing. I have friends with me. They understand things in the spirit world. We all want to try to help. I know you came with me from Rolling Hills and I told you you would never have to go back there. Well, that, now there, I'm thinking you need to go someplace else. Uh-huh, th there's your answer right there. You said you didn't have to leave. Her. Oh, let's see. Okay, let's see what we've got. Let's see. What the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> Why am I looking at OBS? The camera's right there. Just Yo, as she claims, a terrifying voice seems to appear near the end of the recording. That is Even though nothing so can be seen crazy. or heard by live witnesses or in the video. Yo, what is the deal with that? I would hate to Through be the her. Glass. Oh God! In this classic Mirrors? internet ghost video, a man in South Yorkshire, England, claims that his house is haunted by the ghost of a young boy. One day, he hears strange sounds coming from one of the rooms and begins filming. See, now that's some potato quality right there, buddy. Oh hell no! Nah. You better close my damn drawer. Enjoy yourself, Lord. Enjoy yourself. I will protect my brownies, mofo. Pull in over one out. Pull in over one out. Wonderful one I hope. Okay, no. Nope. I didn't tell you to pull that. The drawer back. opens on its own, <laughs> and the heavy mattress falls over. But it gets even stranger. Hell no. Nah. When the man is panning around the room, this. What? Wait, well, hold on a second. Did you see it? I had to have been tripping just now. The shape of something now. that looks like a small boy yeah, seems to I be peering that. back at him in the mirror. I saw that. And when he pans the camera back, the shape in the mirror has vanished. Yo. So is this a ghost caught on camera? What the or hell? just an elaborate hoax? You decide. What could that even be? Okay. What could that even be? Like, we seen some shit to do with a mirror, okay? That one video where she's like, you know, it looks like it's from a different dimension. She looks in the mirror. She looks behind her. She looks in the mirror again. She looks behind her. I didn't notice it when I was watching the video, but there's a jump cut, okay? I didn't notice it, but I typed it in as the little text in uh, editing. What could that be? Like, it wasn't clear. It was all gray. What could that be if it was fake? Like, good lord. And now we got a passenger? The passenger. I don't want that. This next chilling CCTV video was allegedly shared to the public by an anonymous taxi driver in Japan. Uh-oh. He says that a little after 1 a.m., he saw a woman on the street raise her hand to hell his taxi. He pulls over and stops. But what happens next is truly bizarre. The driver hell? remotely opens the door in the back with a switch, expecting the woman to step inside the vehicle. But when he looks again, 
there's no one there. Whoa! So the confused driver simply closes the door and drives away. But just a few minutes later, he drives through a tunnel on the road. Without him knowing, his drive recorder captures something absolutely terrifying. Okay, let's see it. What, dude? What? What did she say? Yo! Get out of here with that shit, man! Yo! Hell no! Hell no! Are you still gonna be paying me? Will you be sitting here stealing freaking rides like that? What the fuck? That is terrifying, dude. And it's just right there in, in plain view. Plain view. The extremely disturbing figure of a woman can be Whoa! seen appearing in the back seat of his car. Not once, but twice. Yeah, she, she got in there, with all right. a swollen face, one creepy eye open, and one closed. The taxi driver Whoa! claims that he had no idea what was happening so close behind him. He says that he felt a disturbing chill at the time but he didn't see or hear anything unusual. The Whoa. driver believes this to be the manifestation of a spirit of the victim of a traffic accident on this road, forever lost on the streets of Japan, trying to get a ride back home. Man, that is crazy. The St. Charles Hotel. That is so On the YouTube bizarre. Ghost Hunting channel, The Haunted Side, Lead investigator Patrick and his cameraman Jason are investigating the supposedly very haunted St. Charles Hotel in Carson City, Nevada. The hotel has been in continuous operation for over 150 years. Whoa! So obviously it's had its fair share of tragic events occurring inside its walls. Almost immediately, the haunted side guys begin to experience unexplained activity. See, I'd have kept walking. I don't even see anything in here that's metal. No, I'd have kept walking. Room. Nothing changed. Patrick and Jason head to the I'd hotel's most haunted rooms to continue their investigation. So we're standing out front of room 305 and 304. Which should we go first, 304? 304. Yeah, the one that's Again, right next to you. This is the floor where there's a lady. Um, a lady. The 1800s that is seen around here a lot, so let's uh -oh. see if we can talk to her. Uh uh. And now, this is when things get truly bizarre. See, I can't be Do doing that. Do you have something you want to say? Come and talk to us. Floor is super creaky. Yeah. What happened? That was weird. Hmm. Did you feel something graze against you? Is that you? I felt like a little, like a little touch or like a little pressure. Now, uh -oh. at first this clip might not seem that compelling, but right after Patrick is touched, watch what their night vision camera catches. Okay. That was weird. Is that you? Whoa, Did you see it? Oh yeah! Now, this chilling capture of a pale apparition might be a bit Whoa. hard to see on a darker phone screen or a monitor. So I've enhanced the video just a bit. Look at all the but work. No, nothing was added to the Haunted <laughs> Side's original video. It has only been adjusted to highlight what was already there. Wow. Is that you? Wow. That's crazy. Next, Patrick and Jason move to room 305, a room which is also said to be a hotbed of paranormal activity. They capture some very oh, odd temperature fluctuations like in the room. In it and everything. But the most chilling footage of all happens just after they walk out. Uh oh. Both Jason and myself had to leave this room. Little did we know we were about to capture something unbelievable. That's them talking. What? 
What the hell was that? Did you see it? Uh-uh. Again, I'll enhance the video. Take another look. Oh! It looks like Some he, like, Some creepy figure seems to just be standing up. idly in the corner with its head down. Yeah, he looked when up and walked room, away. It seems to raise its head and disappear into the bathroom. That's weird. So did the haunted side catch a ghostly apparition in two separate rooms at the St. Charles Hotel? Wow. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. <laughs> you can watch the haunted wow, side's complete man. uncut investigation over on their YouTube channel. Another creepy doll video was sent in by TikTok user Liliana Castillo. Ever since I saw the one with the Dora the Explorer doll, the one that was singing and dancing and moving with no batteries in it, I've always hated these. <laughs> I've always hated the nukes videos that have something to do with dolls. In the video, her daughter Golly can be seen playing with her doll. Everything is fine until she seems to hear something odd that catches her attention. Aunt Joanna, how is this a video to you? Good? Okay, thank you. Okay. You are so adorable yeah, thank too. thank you so much, Kellyanna. You are a good sport. So, Kellyanna, what? Was somebody just whispering? She shook. Wait, it, it did? Did you see it? I did not Watch see that. Watch closely right at the corner of the screen. Right when Golly appears to hear something to her left, the doll turns its head to look at her. Horrified, Golly runs to her mom to tell her what happened. Good on you. The doll? Good has on since you. been thrown out in the trash. I know that's right. Burn Something it, then throw wicked. it away. Popular Japanese Damn, ghost hunters son. Gachan, Yasuke, and Daichan from the YouTube channel Clip Store travel to what is known to be an extremely haunted location in Hiroshima Prefecture, Japan. Hidden in the mountains here, there's a mysterious tall western style ruin that sort of looks like a medieval castle. No one knows why this odd structure was built, or I think why it I've ended up being completely abandoned. Locals and curious visitors tell strange stories about the ghost of a woman wearing a dark cape. They claim that the dark figure looks like a witch. The I Clip think Store I've team began their one. investigation outside, completely in awe of the strange western style exterior. That's when cameraman Dai Chan notices something truly bizarre. <laughs> I believe we've seen this one before. Because wasn't she like standing behind one of them at the top of the stairs? It's a little hard to see, but Daichan's camera barely captures what appears to be someone quickly moving away from the edge of the roof. Almost as if someone or something is watching them from above. The team splits up as they each investigate one of the three floors inside the abandoned structure. Yeah. Investigator Yasuke finds an old TV on the second floor and sits yeah. down to listen and wait. We've just seen to see this if one. he experiences anything I, I remotely it. paranormal. But at least this what is so far the only one I've absolutely recognized. terrifying. Cause this was over the whole year. Like how many nukes videos did I do last year? Maybe like two? Three? Bass, if I heard my homie screaming like that, I'm screaming back. Yeah, and it's up there. Yeah, fam. Yeah, fam. And you even see the hair. I just realized that. I don't know if that's his hair, but you even see hair. Look at that. Is that his hair? Does Dai have long, have long like hair? 
Yasuke claims that something pushed hard against his Dyer's shoulder, hair. knocking him backwards and nearly so making I him fall. Know. He runs up to the staircase and yells to his team members. And to his horror, he sees something lurking over Daichan's shoulder. He does it! Floor. He does Yasuke it! screams to warn him, but whatever it is has just disappeared into thin air. He really doesn't! Unless that was... Okay, so it was talking about Could the shadow. this be the spirit of the woman that locals okay. claim to have been I seen inside the abandoned remember. building? Wow. The ghost hunters capture evidence of the paranormal. Let me know what you think. You can watch this entire video Man. over on the Japanese YouTube channel, Clip Store. Popular streamer Brian from the Twitch channel Daily Dasher travels the world and broadcasts his adventures live for thousands of people to watch on Twitch. Okay. In one of his many six to eight hour long live streams, he is celebrating his birthday in Ecuador. During Man, I remember streaming on Twitch. I, str I did a 24 hour stream once, but I wasn't up the whole time. But I know I did stream for at least 12 hours straight one time. Man, that was a different time, wasn't it? That was back in 2017-ish. Something like that. During his live broadcast, his viewers are shocked Those were the days. when they see someone who seems very out of place. Yeah, I'm a little confused too. But it seems like, the, why is there a child here? Bro, don't go near that child. He said that they closed at 10. And it I seems will like say it looks, it looks so damn beautiful. Said that the curfew is extended, but it's till 10. So even is though we didn't get the exact girl? words out of his mouth, there's still a curfew. It seems like these might is add up. Is that a statue? Is that a statue? Don't scare me like that. Oh my God, it's gone. Oh no! <laughs> Chat, I don't like supernatural stuff. Why you guys said it's a ghost girl? I mean, she could have <laughs> walked gone. away without him realizing, though. <laughs> now hold on a second. I should have stayed home. <laughs> now, hold at first, Brian casually points out that there's a child standing at the balcony window. Oddly, the little girl is standing perfectly still. Uh, in fact, she is so still that viewers chatting in his live stream think that it might be a statue. Some even jokingly uh, suggest that it's a little ghost girl. So Brian pans his camera around and looks over. To his horror, he discovers that the well, little girl has mysteriously disappeared. Okay, I, I'm now, pretty sure. Now, just like in the previous videos, he would know I'm not if necessarily she saying out. that this is a paranormal event yeah, caught I don't on know, camera. I don't know if it, it is either. It might simply be that the girl who doesn't move and appears to be completely unresponsive to her surroundings. Maybe she just ran off when Brian was distracted. Maybe but that's Brian's what I'm reaction saying. reaction to the odd disappearance seems very sincere. Like where would she have ran a bit to? Shook. That's that food. Don't scare me like that. Oh my God, it's gone. Oh no. <laughs> Chat, I don't like supernatural stuff. Why you guys said it's a ghost girl? That is so strange. <laughs> <It's gone. laughs> That's so strange, man. I should have stayed home. Like, I'm sure he would have noticed her but, walk back as through the that other door. videos, I leave it up to you to decide. Uh, that, that one's a little Opening iffy. Opening a window opening a doorway. I want to do neither. This strange Japanese video popped up on the internet and quickly went viral with over 1 really? million views. Really? Unfortunately, no one seems to know the source of the video, including me. I did my usual research, but no one seems to have a clue as to where the creepy video came from. As with most Japanese videos, the couple's identities appear to be blurred in the original video. Right. Having said all that, the clip is still downright chilling. Hey! hey. Who are you? And what do you think you're doing out of my damn window? Hell no! Hell no! Hell no! Get 
the fuck out of here, man. Ooh. <laughs> oh my god the only reason why I didn't get up and run away is because I don't have pants on okay I'm just gonna be honest that was the only reason and y'all don't need to see the plaid okay just oh my god this is back it up just, just for context okay <laughs> Hell no, man. Hell no! The couple sees the odd blurry shape of someone or something that seems to be peering into their Hell kitchen window. Hell no, man. But when the guy quickly slides the window open, there's no one there. He turns back to his girlfriend and catches a truly disturbing figure standing right behind her, dark and shadowy with what almost looks like rotting skin. And as he pans back only a moment later, the figure has just disappeared. And the worst part, so did the couple they unwittingly let a wandering this. spirit into their home? Unfortunately, without a source, we'll never know. How let me know what you think down in the comments. Did he see that? Hiding because in the closet. He didn't give a reaction. This next of video the kind was sent in by a viewer, it. and it's one of those rare paranormal stories that's been around on YouTube for a decade. But not really? many people have ever seen it. In okay. fact, in over 10 years, this channel has only gotten 66 subscribers and very few views. Wow. So, let's get into it. Back in February 2011, YouTube user Steph posts wow. a series of videos to document the creepy paranormal activity that she says she often experiences in hey, her house's basement. Band. But even as she tries to simply introduce her channel, things get a bit weird. Hi everyone, my name is Steph. Um, I live in New York, and I just wanted to do a little bit of an introduction to my channel, Steph's I'm, Basement 89. I'm looking at the um, background. Basically, I think my house is haunted, which I know sounds silly, and I still feel kind of silly saying it, but I guess I shouldn't. Um, we figured out that about the start of the new year of this year was when things started to happen. Mm -hmm. um, it's mostly in the basement, but... Right? What? Right what? Did you or are you f***ing with me? Someone stayed at the doorway. Excuse me and you're just sitting there? I saw it. What? Ouch. Hell nah. Someone stayed at the doorway. Hell nah. So can you... What rent they paying, Don't go huh? Far. <laughs> you finna get snatched up. So, as I'm you being recording that, that's your, to that's your first viewer, okay? Pardon my language. Imagine I that. I feel like I just saw someone standing in the doorway, and so your did first he. viewer, a ghost. No one, right? No. Shut the door. Tell Can you shut the door? Mm -hmm. If they open the door, it's a wrap. <sighs> no, sir. Cut for time. Like someone walking around. Walking. Mm -hmm. Okay. You um, better pick we'll up be that back. camera and go investigate. But, yeah, this is an introduction, <laughs> a pretty good introduction to um, my channel. And um freaking out a little bit right now, but that's okay. Uh, 
I hope you enjoy. I don't know Bye. how you can be so calm. Steph and her roommate Sam both claim to see something off camera. And we can hear strange noises in the background. But of course, all of this could easily be faked. Yes. But trust me, things are going to get much creepier. Okay. In this let's next see video, it. we head down to what Steph alleges is the most haunted area of her home the basement. Mm -mm. Steph's little dog Bella seems a bit Aww. freaked out by something in the basement closet. Uh uh. So normally when I come home from work, my dog Bella will come running to the door to greet me or whatever. And I just came home and she didn't do that. And it freaked ends out. up she's down here in the basement just obsessing over this closet the door. Closet. Um, she's never done this before. Don't open it. It looks as if she's waiting for it to open or she thinks there's someone behind it. No. Nope. Um, where it's like, she acts like she's acting how she does when she wants to get into one of the rooms upstairs. Um, but she hasn't acknowledged me at all since I came home, which is very weird. That Bella, is weird. She's not even answering to her name. I'm just going to open it. Oh, God. What if I go pull it? Oh. See, baby, there's nothing there. There's nothing there. There's nothing in there, crazy lady. That dog it's knows. Dark, but as you could probably see, there's no one in the closet, thank God. See, baby? That dog knows. There's nothing there, lady. Even if you don't. Nothing, okay? Oh, she's back to sniffing it again. It's freaking me out. Come on, let's go upstairs. Over the next month, Steph experiences random noises from the basement and even some unnerving sightings of what she believes to be a supernatural apparition. Oh, She boy. sets up a camera to record her basement room, specifically the closet. Yes. Her recordings capture many hours of, well, nothing. Mm. But then, late one Friday night, this happens. That door's finna open. That ghost finna play rock band. I don't like how dark it looks in there. And I think that was the roommate that was As down Steph's there. Steph's friend Reese is casually sitting in the basement one night checking her phone. The closet door just pops open on its own. Yep, and she got now, up Reese and left. Reese is a left. skeptic and doesn't believe the basement to be haunted at all. You but still, still left, though, didn't we you? see her make a tiptoeing dash right out of the room. <laughs> and we can yeah. hear her run up the stairs. Yeah, you did. So she definitely seems spooked. So now we cut to one night where Steph and her friend Rochelle are hanging out as it gets close to the midnight hour. Mm -hmm. Steph decides to record a quick video for her roommate who is away on a trip. What she catches on camera is absolutely terrifying. All right, let's see. Are you videotaping? Yeah, it's for Stan. God, you can't even like play that. games like <laughs> that Michelle's anymore. Michelle's getting like really good at the drums. Because of copyright. Oh my God! So you might have some competition when you get back. <laughs> we love you, we'll see you soon. Did you see it? As Steph pans her camera by the open closet Almost did not see that. Yo, stop! The door. It looks as if an older stop. woman in a white gown is just standing there. Stop! Watching. When Steph pans back seconds later, no one there. Stop! So did Steph capture real paranormal activity in her basement? And just what happened after this? Well, Stop. we'll never know, because you see, Steph hasn't posted to her YouTube channel since these creepy incidents, 10 years ago. Man! The House of Horror. The home known as the House of Horror oh in Asuncion, gosh. Paraguay is a home. I'd like to think that that one was real for the simple fact that, like, there was no jump cut. This was 10 freaking years ago, man. Like, there was no jump cut. It was just there and then over. You gotta, like, it's crazy how real this shit can look. And I'm not sitting here saying that the paranormal ain't real. I know it's real. Okay, I've experienced it. I've had my hair pulled, my shoulder tapped. I've been there. 
That's why this shit scares me so damn much. Because I have been touched. I've never seen something. If I do that, it's a wrap. Home which locals say is extremely haunted. <laughs> the now abandoned house Fuck, has a dude. long and very dark history. Oh. As six brutal deaths have taken place inside its walls. Damn, that's Long tragic. ago in the year 1913, a physician who lived in the house shot a man twice after he found him alone with his wife in their home. Mm. He later claimed that he didn't know what came over him when he pulled the trigger. Mm. Then many years later in 2018, a young mother, her two children, and her parents tragically lost their lives inside the home at the hands of the woman's husband. Aww. The senseless crime shocked the entire city and forever branded the home with the title, quote, the house of horror. Dang, man. Several bus drivers that regularly pass by the House of Horror have claimed that they often see a strange shadow-like being late at night that tries to stop the bus. Nope. But then not the stopping. figure simply disappears into thin air right before their eyes. Not stopping. The bus drivers by also no claim means. that when it rains, you can hear the crying and wailing of children coming from inside the house. Mm -hmm. The House of Horror and the strange activity surrounding it has been covered by many news outlets. Oh, really? Including this report by Paraguay C9N TV Network. Really? News reporter Alejandra Pereira and her cameraman were doing a tour around the creepy house live on TV when they captured something truly chilling. Estilo colonial, bastante antigua esta casona. Alejandra, adelante. Sí, muchísimas gracias Silvio. Ya nos encontramos en el interior justamente de esta denominada Casa del She Terror aquí sobre Oliva something. y Montevideo para hacer un recorrido con el compañero Derlis que también estuvo en el momento que ocurrió esto, ¿verdad? Que nos va a poder también. En ese baño, Alejandra, donde se había eh, realizado, digamos, el entierro de, de los cuatro cuerpos de las dos mujeres y de las dos criaturas. Sí, este sería uno de los lugares donde estaban enterrados justamente eh, los What? cuerpos de las mujeres, en este caso Silvio, según las informaciones que también estamos manejando. Eh, porque parte del de otro de los cuerpos justamente también se, se presumía que se encontró en el fondo, eh, hacia Whoa. donde nos estamos dirigiendo en estos momentos, ya en el fondo de la casa también. Eh, hacia donde nos estamos dirigiendo I en estos momentos, ya en el fondo de la casa también. Uh -huh. Did you hear it? Yeah! Eerie unexplained screams can be heard while Alejandra is explaining yeah. where the bodies of the victims were found. The news crew on the scene say that they heard nothing. But viewers watching the report live at home were shocked. It almost Thousands of people contacted the news channel demanding an explanation for the strange screams. C9N Paraguay takes a look at the raw video footage live and again broadcasts their findings. Vamos a llegar hasta aquí hey, a una de las máquinas donde this. nos tocó eh, escuchar parte del archivo completamente en bruto. Lorena, ¿me puedes explicar lo que vamos a escuchar a continuación? Le, Man, los sonidos también por sobre todo. Too. Sí, oh, eh, oh. bueno, lo que les voy a poner ahora es el sonido del ambiente que capta la cámara con el sonido del micrófono, porque nosotros recibimos eh, los enlaces acá con canales diferentes, entonces eso se puede separar sin problema. Porque parte del de otro de los cuerpos justamente también se, se presumía que se encontró en el fondo eh, hacia donde nos estamos dirigiendo en estos that momentos, en el like fondo de la casa ones. también. Like a, a bueno, y ahora, ¿qué es lo que vamos a, a compartir one. también a, a continuación, Lorena? Eh, voy a poner el sonido ambiente que captó la cámara. Solamente el sonido que camera. entra por la cámara en sí y no por el micrófono que estaba teniendo en ese momento también nuestra compañera Alejandra Pereira. Si podemos ya reproducir y llegar al momento exacto en el cual se estaba dando lo que eran estos gritos. All right, let me see. Eh, porque parte del de otro de los cuerpos justamente es That's what I thought. I figured there was a slower scream and then the big so, scream. Just like what a do you think these screams scream. could be? Could it be the shrieks of the victims still crying out for help? Or is it all just a very, very elaborate hoax? You decide. I don't know, man. Dancing with the dead. Oh, no. 11 years ago, Tony Noguera recorded a short video of his son Elijah dancing to a Wait. Green Day song that was playing on their TV. I think I have he uploaded seen the video to one. his YouTube channel, and for years the video went mostly unnoticed. That is 
until Tony's footage was shared on Reddit and hundreds of Reddit users agreed on one thing. The There's kid something saw a ghost. truly bizarre going on in this video. Yeah, the kid saw Damn. a ghost, didn't he? Because he just stops and looks. Damn, look at Liza, go like this. Liza, hey, like this. Liza, look it, hey. Yep. Liza, go like this. And his attention just gets over there. That does not happen easily with a kid. Were you dancing to uh, some Green Day? Especially with this. Damn, that does go. not happen easily. Did you see it? Right behind little Elijah, what looks like the dark shadowy figure of a child yeah, can be seen. Yeah, man. Just kind of standing there watching the family. A few seconds later, and the child disappears. Even creepier, right after the small shadowy figure is seen, a strange unexplained childlike giggle can be heard. That I didn't like remember it. hearing. Whoa! Now, I reached out to Tony Nogueira personally, and he says that he has no idea who or what this unexplained figure might be. Yeah, no other kids but he in says the house. his house does have a very creepy history. Tony's house is inside a gated community in Reno, Nevada, and the property on which the neighborhood was built used to be an old graveyard back in the 1960s. That is nuts. So could this creepy apparition be the ghost of a child buried on the community grounds long ago? And it looks like what it's you think standing in front in the comments. of the mirror. Because the there is a mirror side. there too. Popular Snapchat livestream ghost hunter Hassan Barbar is exploring a long abandoned residence in Jordan. Okay. Locals claim that the house was once owned by a wicked man named Romani who lived there with his servants. It is said that the man's ghost now haunts the house as an evil spirit, Hell along no. with the cursed souls of his servants. One of these servants is said to appear as a dark, faceless shape that resembles a young woman. Dark and when entering faceless? the abandoned old house, uh -uh, Hassan begins to hear spirit. strange sounds and lets his livestream viewers know that he believes that the spirit already knows he's there. You are a demon if I cannot see your face. What? Okay, alright, alright now. Don't pray to God and then take his take his name in vain, alright? It's not how it works. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. A'udhu bi kalimati Allah al-Tamat min sharri ma khalaq. بسم الله الذي لا يضر مع اسمه شيء في الأرض ولا في السماء وهو السميع العليم. Okay. طلع إخوان. Alright. Hassan hears the chilling voice of a woman from somewhere within the empty house. We survived that that little bit. A kitchen cabinet slams shut. Yeah. But it gets worse. Figured. I was looking at the window. Ooh, what's what's with y'all? The same cabinet. The same cabinet. Start making your way to the exit. You're gonna need God's speed in order to get out of there. Don't you know that they can close doors on you now? The same kitchen cabinet moves right yeah, in front of him. the same one. And a sliding door seems to have shut on its own. Oh, it was Hassan that that made the noise. Hassan gets an unexplained headache and decides to take a break outside. But when he returns, things get even creepier. See, that's the mistake you make. You come back in. You gonna mess with that same cabinet again? Excuse. What are you banging into? That sliding door. Ooh, I am not digging that reflection, homeboy. I'm not digging it. Hey, 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 hey. 
آه 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 نو 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 والله العظيم في شيء موقف جوا يا اخوان وحياة الله اسمع وين امينت بقول لكم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم وان الله العظيم انه انا جنيت من الغرفه شو بدي احكي لكم تخلنا نشوف كمان مره يا اخوان اذا في شيء هي انا يا اخوان اخوان والله العظيم انه في شيء جوا شو هي والله العظيم انه في شيء نرجع نعمل هيك بسم الله نرجع هيك اخوان انا غرت من هاي It's not there. That the terrifying figure of a woman dressed in black can be seen on the other side of a glass window. But when Hassan quickly checks the area, and the craziest part, it it looks like a mysterious woman seems to disappear into thin air. So who? No, check this out. Okay, so no one there. The mysterious woman in the area can be seen on. Okay, pay attention to how this looks. It moved. The other side of a glass window. Because it's like it's but looking right at the camera. When the area, here, no one there. The mysterious woman seems to disappear like into thin this air. Way. So like, who uh, or what away from the camera. do you think this woman could be? Crazy. Is it an angry spirit, or is it all just an elaborate hoax? I couldn't tell if you that was decide. through there or if it was a reflection. Wrong way. Urban explorers Matt and Andy from the YouTube channel Finders Beepers History Seekers explore the abandoned Mossley That's Manor in Liverpool, name. England. The manor has a very dark history. I'm a really the Victorian have to building was these. constructed over 150 years ago by cotton merchant Nicholas Duckworth, who passed away in the home in 1889. In 1940, the manor served as a home for unwed mothers and their children. It was later sold to become a care home for the elderly and disabled, called Mossley Manor Care Home. Mm. Around 2014, reports began to surface of abuse and terrible living conditions at the Mossley Manor home. Damn. Even more disturbing, families discovered the unreported deaths of at least 10 elderly patients in the home. What? Care home was shut down in 2015. Yo, For obvious that reasons, is many claim that the Mossley Manor is haunted and is a hot spot for paranormal activity. But that is Matt so and Andy from Finders Beepers so are certainly not ghost hunters or even necessarily believers in the paranormal. They're just a couple of guys who enjoy doing urban exploration of old decaying properties like the Mossley Manor Pee -pee and poo -poo. cracking a few jokes along the way. <laughs> All right, so we've just come in to a sort of, where they keep files and diaries and one thing or another. He didn't look suitable to enter the building on account of him having a wild expression in his eyes. Mm. <laughs> How can... Psychopath coming in. No, but who can judge whether somebody should be allowed in because they've got a wild look in their eyes? Never let me in, would they? <laughs> this building is amazing, actually. Mm -mm -mm. I really want to go scrambling around on that roof. Go ahead. I don't know whether I'm just... You finna break your neck. <laughs> F***ing hell. Jesus Christ, you red. Oh my God, my heart. I will this choke slam you back Not into that ice box. See it because they're on these bonds. Even though bonds? the two guys try to keep the atmosphere light, when they are on their way up the manor stairs, Matt sees something truly chilling. Yeah, a and lesson. suddenly things just aren't so funny anymore. Yeah. All right, just heading up. Is this the second or third This is why you gotta things? always look ahead when you go on upstairs. You don't know who's gonna be waiting up there for you. Me. That paper's they thick, aren't they? Wallpaper in here is like good quality wallpaper. Yeah, I will say that. Yeah. So but yeah, you can see it goes up again. Hey. Whoa! Did it do a oh. double take? Did you see that? It looks like it did a double take. Like it walked. Went back and then it started walking oh. again. Hold on, you 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 didn't get that past me, Nukes. I feel like there's somebody down there as well. Yeah, you cornered. All right, I'm going up. What the? F Walk straight into a wall. All right, I. I Walk straight into a wall. Yeah. Oh, it might have been. 
I've gone cold because I saw somebody stood there. I saw a leg. Hello? You just fart. <laughs> but they went no, you might have shit yourself. Way, and there's no way you can go. Crazy. All right, now. What oh, voice? I don't know. I don't know who you're like a man or a woman. You might be a bit dubious. You better pan that camera around that corner first. Oh, oh, no, sir. No, sir. That's weird. I'm going to have to look back at the footage. As Matt this films the top of the staircase, he captures what appears to be the legs of someone See? or something who seems to be watching like them. The figure immediately the walks off toward the right and disappears. Matt and Andy immediately head That's up the so stairs to investigate, crazy. but they can't find anyone or anything to explain what Matt captured on yeah, camera. Yeah, like how do you fake that? stranger, there is nowhere for anyone to walk or hide. No, now we clearly saw somebody move. the mysterious figure moved. disappeared towards the right side. Well, that just leads toward a wall with a tiny boarded up window. Maybe they slim. The mysterious person seems to have simply disappeared into thin air. But they went that way. And there's no way you can go. So could it be that they captured the ghost of Nicholas Duckworth still roaming? Did y'all see a reflection come off so of their leg? Did you see that? Why am I looking towards OBS? Did you see that? Look, look at, look at his foot. That way. And there's no way you can go. I'm going to try to pause it right when it happens so because, could, hold on. It be right there. You see that? What is that? Did they capture the ghost of Nicholas Duckworth still roaming that? his Victorian home? Something Could it be the apparition of one of the elderly caught. patients that passed away inside the Something manor? Something caught the light. Let me know what there you think. There was a reflection. You can check out Matt and Andy's full exploration over on their YouTube channel, Weird. Finders Beepers, History Seekers. Opening a doorway. Huh. Tomo and Hiro from the YouTube channel Omagatoki Film claim that a real estate agent reached out to them concerning a house that he found extremely difficult to sell. The agent says that the house once belonged to a family of three who mysteriously went missing in 2013, leaving Hell behind all of their personal no. belongings in the house. Why does this the current look owner is too? desperate to sell. He believes that there's a dark presence inside the home and wants nothing to do with it. He absolutely refuses to go inside the home or even get close to it. Mm. And all of these strange stories about he the haunted shook. house have kept buyers away as well. Tomo and Hiro say that the real estate agent and the owner reached out to them to find an explanation for the creepy alleged haunting inside the family home. Okay. When the two go to investigate, the current owner warns them to keep the doors closed at all times. But he doesn't really? explain why. <laughs> The owner said, please don't leave any doors in the house open. Make sure you close all the doors. And I was told that I thought the owner was religious and believed in that sort of rule. The previous owner might have been very meticulous. Maybe uh, a little OCD, maybe? Now we came into the next room, so we have to close the door. Hey, close that door, you better show respect! I'm just trying to figure warning, out Tomo and Hiro respect the owner's the request and close today. each door behind them whenever they step inside a new room. Who's gonna leave the two one investigators open immediately get the sense that something about the house is just a bit off. Mm -hmm. <laughs> The sliding doors of the cupboards are half open. Huh. That is a bit strange. Well, 
Why is Strangely that? Strangely enough, Tomo and Hiro discover that many of the closet and cabinet doors are half open, contradicting the strange warning that they got to leave all the doors closed at all times. That they is don't weird. think much of it and just continue their investigation. But did you see it? Uh-uh. Tomo and Hiro are completely unaware of what they just captured on camera. I know but I was too. Watch again. Oh, there are feet! Someone or something seems to be standing right behind the rack of clothes. Nah, As you got me fucked up, fam. Seen underneath. You got me fucked but up, But the investigators fam. just don't notice. You got Soon me fucked up. Soon the two explorers up. begin to hear a strange <laughs> ringing sound that they believe to be coming from the home's, quote, altar room. A room that is dedicated to Buddhist prayer and sometimes houses altars meant yeah. to honor the dead. I think we have seen they this one, They go to investigate, too. and things take a terrifying turn. I think we have seen this one, too. Standing bell. The standing bell. Is that like a call to prayer or or what? Oh, wait a minute. No, I think I remember this. Don't they see feet in the the window? Don't don't they see feet in the window? They see something in the glass uh, going into the next room. The door. That's right. Yeah, close it. And it's open partially. Just like all the other things. I ask again, did you see it? Right after Tomo and Hiro enter the altar room and Tomo is closing the door, a pair of feet can be seen That's once again, what I thought. but this time much closer. Right next what to you What makes the footage even creepier is that only moments earlier, in the same spot, there was nothing there. That's right! Whatever is in the home with the two investigators seems to be following them. And it then when they turn a, their back, uh, the sliding door fetish. seems to open on its own. Hiro decides to do a solo investigation in the altar room in and the hopes of capturing any paranormal. That is probably by far the weirdest part about that one, is usually when something gets opened, it makes noise. There was no noise. How did that shit just magically open like that without making a single sound? Normal activity. He sets up a static camera. Weird. And then just sits in the dark and waits. After 30 minutes, nothing has happened. So, Hiro gets a bit bored and decides to go check out another room. And this is when things get truly bizarre. We finna see feet again? Where them toes at? Camera's not focusing. All right, Nukes, you making a lot of noise. What was that? <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> That was clearly the sliding door.
Yeah, that was clearly what that was. It's open. Well, to see, here's my thing, like, how the hell are they supposed to keep it closed if the shit just keeps opening? That don't make no sense. That ghost is just being an ass for no reason. I'm looking for toes. Oh, oh, oh. 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 And then they just back up. That is wild, bro. How that face just fades into the dark. Yeah, don't you forget to close that door. Hiro hears a sliding door move on its own, and he discovers that the door Damn. to the altar room has once again mysteriously opened on and its own. And then you heard like the, the investigator the, hears the, the bizarre happened. ringing sound again, and when he turns around, he sees the creepy face of something staring back at him That's through crazy the sliding how door. The bell noise came Hiro from gathers behind his courage him. and approaches the door. He opens it, and the face disappears into thin air. There's no one there. No. So did Hiro and Tomo capture paranormal evidence of a haunted home? Could it be the restless spirits of the family who mysteriously disappeared? And that's the Let part know what you that think. creeps me out the most. You can watch this entire video over on the YouTube channel, vanish. Omagatoki Film. A new top five viewer who wishes to remain dream, anonymous, let's dream. just call him or her Alex for the sake of the video, okay. email me about a CCTV recording captured at an undisclosed sleep lab during a sleep apnea test. A sleep Alex lab. says that a co-worker was monitoring a widowed female patient's sleep. And then, okay. this happened. Voices have been digitally Mr. altered. Oh my god. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Whoever that is, he, he, they trying to spoon. They they trying to spoon. Yes. It's gone now. They now to get a better to understanding spoon, of what spoon. is going on, a bit of explanation is necessary. Yes, So the please. squiggly lines that can be seen at the bottom of the screen indicate that the woman has stopped breathing during her sleep. The mysterious pale figure then appears to reach out to wake the woman, after which she begins to breathe again. Alex believes the apparition might have been the patient's deceased husband, still carefully watching over her from beyond the grave. Aww. But what do you think this strange pale shape could be? Let that's me know down in the comments. Wow, I don't know. That, that's, that, that's definitely, uh, and, and you can kind of look like it. That's, that's crazy. That's crazy. It's like, she's like, hey, hold on, breathe. It's gone now. It's like, make sure you're breathing before you Whispering go back to sleep. in church. Uh-uh. Over we on the channel Urbex Hill, YouTuber Christopher Hill is back with another urban exploration of a creepy old abandoned church in Cleveland, Ohio. Uh -uh. This time, Chris is exploring an old Lutheran church that was built back in 1940. We ain't whispering church has been abandoned for over 15 years, but it has somehow remained in fairly good condition, Ooh. free from any vandalism or graffiti. That looks Chris pretty. carefully and respectfully makes his way through the large building recording the elegant architecture of the church interior. That is so he finds pretty! finds furniture and belongings that date back to the 1980s, and even wow. some pieces from the 1950s. Dang! But as he climbs the stairs to the second floor of the abandoned church, oh Lord. he hears some very strange sounds that stop him in his tracks. Oh Lord. the hell was that? I heard that. I'm starting to get better at hearing this shit. Did 
Did you hear it? Yes! The baffled Both explorer times. explains in his video that he hears something strange as he climbs the stairs to the second floor. It almost sounded he's like a kid. He's not sure just what the sound might be. Like that one that so made him stop? I decided to enhance the audio from this section. It kind of sounded like a kid. Now watch the clip again and listen closely. What? A test for what? A mysterious childlike voice can be heard saying, Can you help me? And then seconds later, what sounds like the voice of an older woman seems to whisper, It's a test. Chris has no idea what he I just captured like and continues on with his exploration on the second floor of the creepy church. Then much later, when he comes back to the same staircase... You know, that is a little bit strange that when you really think about it, when we did take tests back in school, we would ask the teacher, can you help me? And we, and we were told no because it's a test. Interesting. Case again to head back down. Just my two it cents. happens again. This time a voice can be heard whispering something. Nope. And again, I enhance the audio, but this time I'm not able to make out just what is being said. It almost sounds like multiple voices whispering all at once. Mm -mm. Listen again and let me know in the comments if you can make out anything that the creepy voices are saying. I know I can't. Chris eventually leaves uh -huh. the church having no idea what he just captured on camera. I couldn't. But after he uploads his video to YouTube, things take a very creepy turn. Viewers of his channel point out to Chris that he might not have been alone in the old church. Really? While Chris did hear the strange sounds and whispering, he didn't see this. Didn't see what? What the, what? A huge dark figure can be seen standing in a room at the end of the hallway. Oh my God. Chris turns God. to film close-ups of the church's stained glass windows and when he pans back, oh a large mysterious God. figure is gone. What in the world, freaking Bishop? So did Chris capture voices and an apparition of spirits that haunt the old church? If you don't go home! You decide. <laughs> you can watch this full video and many more of Chris's explorations over on his YouTube channel, Urbex Hill. Uh-uh, man. Mirror, mirror. This is number one. This next video comes from Chinese ghost hunter Xiao Long, uh -huh. who I've featured him before. My brother! Xiao Long and his fellow explorer drive three hours to an abandoned and allegedly haunted house in the middle of nowhere. I think Xiao Long is the person that curses the out the, uh, is said to be the, the home ghost. of an evil spirit. Xiao Long and his friend are live streaming their entire investigation. Freaking Xiao Long is legit! Now, I should mention again that in Chinese culture, it is believed that swearing and acting angry is believed to ward off evil spirits that... Now, Shang Tsung, you're gonna have to go on somewhere with that. ...wish to do you harm. However, at first, Xiao Long's anger seems to spill over a bit onto his fellow explorer. Mm. What is it? Usually we've seen Xiao Long like by himself, not with uh, somebody else. Has he ever been with somebody else? I don't. I don't think so. Hey! Fuck your mother! Not here. What are you? Hey, 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 hey! Five strong brothers, and two sisters. Don't chill out. You not need to be there. Thirty-three minutes late. What is even happening? Uh huh? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, <laughs>
我太想打你了，老戴，真的，我真想直播暴打你一顿。我他妈的给你出的直播，你还打我？我真他妈，我真他妈太想打你了。你看，太不怕人有人性了你。谁想给你这波啊？说给你直播，还单单人打，别让他妈单人好不？真他妈的打。After an hour of exploring, the two ghost hunters really haven't encountered anything. So they decide to try a ghost summoning game that is similar to a Ouija board called Pinchi. I don't want to be pinched. Don't pinch me. We're a Northern Expedition Tai Chi presenter. 自创的一门啊，招魂游戏，这个叫碰瓷术。可能说我们这个碰瓷术呢，采自于来自于说一个马来西亚的一个邪教组织，他呢专门就是研究恶灵的，然后经常呢会用这个死亡小瓷儿。啊，去那个就是招这个招唤这个死死亡的神灵，让他这些神灵呢去帮助他得到一些某种目的。陈仙儿，陈仙儿，我是你的今生，你是我的前世，不要与我碰瓷儿。请在桌上画圈儿。They don't really have much luck with the game, but very bizarre things start to happen. 我现在这不是在鬼屋里面给你招神仙呢吗？用仙语说话呀！ What the fuck? He was like, "No, I'm right here, cuz." Hey! Now you're being too nice, Shalong. They try to return to their spoon ritual. But again, they were interrupted. 整那些鸡巴没有用的，这词儿。关键是他妈了个逼的！你说真的啊，千里迢迢二百多公里来到这个地方，你说谁他妈想那啥呀？关键这里头也真没有啥玩意儿啊，咱也不能拿鬼拿鸡巴一项玩儿吧 ？So you think？ 对不对？那你说鸡巴拿着鸡巴词儿，哎 ，What happened？ 哎呦我操，老戴 ！What happened？ 哎，谁 ？You feel something？ 我操你妈！谁呀、啊、？Okay, I was thinking there was gonna be a figure in there. And again, they go back to their game, but this is when things get truly bizarre. Hell yeah, let's get it. 我操你妈的！我操！谁？我操你妈！这个窗户洞，老弟。Oh, is is something banging against the window? 谁？谁？ I think I saw something. 我操！我操你妈 ！What what 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 was it？ 喂喂，老二！啊！我操！我操你妈！啊！ Did you see it？ I think so. Watch the reflection of the game board behind them as Xiao Long goes to check out the noise at the window. Oh! Oh no! Shit! 哎哎，老二！啊！我操！我操你妈！啊 ！No shit, dude. 谁敢动了 ？And he wasn't moving it. You'd have seen it. While the ghost are away from the board, the spoon can be seen spinning wildly, as if being pushed by some unseen force. Damn! But wait, we haven't even gotten to the most chilling event that the ghost hunters experience in their investigation of this abandoned haunted house. Let's get it. So, for some reason, all of the mirrors in this abandoned house seem to be covered, removed, or turned to face down. Uh uh. The explorers decide to take a good long look into one of the downturned mirrors. No, sir. And it didn't go well. No, sir. Eight diagrams mirror. They finna see somebody. 
那不说都是这个。Maybe we shouldn't look。我告诉你啊，你们的妈了个逼的！你们要是不喜欢看，你们赶紧走，没人他妈逼你搁这里头逼逼吃吃，逼逼吃吃，逼了你妈了个逼，一个个的。Yeah, Shao Long is that gangster。操你妈，一个个的。啊！啊！啊！啊 The unexplained creepy face of an old woman appears in the mirror, Yo, right between them. Get out of here with that shit, horror, dude! They pan the room, but there's no one there. Nah, to hell with pan in the room. I'm immediately throwing an elbow. <laughs> that ghost is finna see me. If you gonna take my soul, I'm gonna give you the hands first. Did he break the mirror? That was live too. Yo, that was live. That was that on a terrifying live stream. They decide to just get out of there. Yeah. That was on a damn live stream, Thanks dude. Thanks so much for watching. Please check. Whoo! That was a lot going on at one time, man. Wow. So there was、uh, a couple of videos that we had seen before, and then that was it. The majority of them, outside of those two, were were fresh. We hadn't seen them before, and those were the best scares of 2021. You know, I'm wondering if he's gonna do one for for uh uh for uh 2022. I wonder. Did he do one for uh? Did he do one for 2020? Yeah, he did. That's the one I'm gonna look at next. Oh yeah, that's the one I'm gonna look at next. If y'all rocked with me. Let me know down in the comments below if you want to see that one next because I'm real curious. That one has 11 million views. If y'all want to see that one, let me know. But I hope you guys enjoyed the reaction. If you did, why not leave the video a like? Let me know what you think down in the comments below. And if you haven't already, why not consider subscribing? Hit that notification bell so you don't miss any more of this mayhem. Until next time, I appreciate all of you for watching. Like and subscribe for more. For I will continue to make these videos for many moons. Stay safe out there, and never forget to holla at your bear. Peace out.